Hello everyone. We will continue with the remaining steps of batch input recording method of LSMW. In the previous video, we finished up to conversion of data. Now we will proceed further. Before we proceed further, we will go for important information related to reading and converting of data. Very, very extremely important information for the best understanding. Suppose if I will go to specify file step, you can see whenever you will read the data, SAP will generate this file on the application server. Whenever you will convert the data, SAP will generate this file on the application server. And what is the naming conventions of the file? Project underscore subproject underscore object dot lsmw dot read. This is for the read file. Project underscore subproject underscore object dot lsmw dot conv for conversion of the file. The only word difference is read and conversion. So whenever you will read and whenever you will convert, SAP will store the files on the application server. Suppose I will just go for read and convert and show you how these files are on the application server. Important information. I will suppose do the read data step again. Five records successfully read. Okay, I can display also, it's okay. You can see here also, we are getting that field, getting that file, field, file name. Okay read is successful. Now I will convert the data and you can see here also we are getting the converting file name and I will display the converted data. Okay. Now we know AL11 is the transaction code where we can check the files of application server. AL11 is the transaction code for SAP directories where we can check the files in the application server of the application server. Now, whenever you are going for LSMW, your files are always, always in the DIR underscore home directory. Always, always they are going into this directory. So I'll just double click on the directory. I'll just filter based upon today's date. Today's 11th. I will go for OK. And you can see we have two files. You can see this is conversion file and this is read file. And it is the application server itself. So whenever you will convert and read, our files are getting stored into application server of SAP. This is our application server in AL11. We have the directories and in that the files are getting stored. Suppose if I will double click and show you, you can see this is the same data which we passed. Your material number P is industry sector, material type, material description, unit of measurement. So this is the way how SAP is storing that data in the application server. Now, we will move next. We'll move on. To, this is the additional information of a read and convert step. Now I will go for creation of the session. I will go for execute. I will create a batch input session. I'm moving to next step. Now you can see in the name of batch input folder, your by default object name is coming. Whatever the object name you gave while creating the LSMW, it is automatically coming. Okay. Now with this particular name, one session will create. With this particular name, one session will create. 
just recall the steps of BDC, what you did in the BDC session method. If you remember, when we used the function module BDC open group, whatever the name you gave, one session created into SM35 and you process that session. Same thing is here. Once I will execute this step, one session will create into SM35. Now, we'll go for most important this particular checkbox. Keep batch input folder. This checkbox is same as that of your keep parameter. If you remember, we did the full explanation of keep. If keep is equal to X, it will keep the session after processing the session. It will keep the entry of the session after processing the session. If keep is equal to false, it will not keep that particular session. You will not be able to see the session. Okay, we'll do the practical and just we'll just do the practical. Suppose I'm running by keeping this batch input folder. I will go to execute. You can see one batch input folder created with five transactions. Why five transactions? Because we have five records in the file. I will go for OK. Now this step done. Now it is your wish. You want to process this session through SN35 or you can go for this also. You can follow this step also because this step will automatically navigate to SM35. Suppose I will firstly show you SM35 independently. You can see we have one session entry and you can see the session entry is Mac create. It is our LSMW object name. The status is new. This is the user ID date and type. Now, if I will go for this step, if I will process by this way, ultimately it is navigating to SM35 only. Suppose if I will go for execute, you can see it is SM35 itself. Now, I will simply, simply process this session. I will go for process. You can see currently the status is new. I will go to process. Suppose I will process in foreground mode. You all know we have three modes, foreground, background, and display errors only. I'll go to process. You can see first material, done. Second material, third material. We have the fourth material now, and we have the fifth material. And you can see it's done. Now we put keep batch input folder. We selected that checkbox. And have you seen after processing the session, session entry is still there. Keep is equal to X. Suppose I will not keep this particular parameter. Suppose I will go to back button. I will go to LSMW again. Suppose I will change the materials in the file. Suppose 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that you so that you can understand fully. I will read the data again because now we have the new data. Five records successfully read. We will convert the data. You can check the data by display read data steps. Five records successfully converted. And you can check in AL11 itself. Again, in AL11, DIR home directory, you will be able to see the two files, conversion and read. And you can see last change time is just now, 5.42. Now you can simply check. Now we have the new materials. It is overriding the file. Yes. Now 
we will simply go for create batch input section. You can check the converted data. It's, it is successfully converted or not. I will go for batch input session. Now, I will not select this checkbox now. And we will see what is the impact. Okay, one input session created with five transactions. Now I will run. You can see we have the entry. I will process this session. Now I will go for process. First material, second material, third material, fourth material, fifth material. And you can see we process the session by keep is equal to false. And you can see session entry is not here. This is the previous entry and you can see whatever the latest entry of 543, it is not here now, but log will always be there. If you want to check, you can go for log. You can go for logs without session or you can check here also. Suppose this is our log without session entry. If I will double click, you can see this is our log. So this is same as that of keep parameter we passed in BDC open group. And here we have to check this particular checkbox. Now, the last step is we should always, always validate that data, that data is successfully uploaded or not. And you will all know very well that you have to check in Mara and MAKT table the materials. I will pass all the 10 materials which we created. We passed PMAT underscore 20 to PMAT underscore 24. We created total 10 materials. 23, 24. Then we created 80, 81 at the initial level. 80, 81, 82, 83, and then we have 84. I'll go to execute. And you can see we have all the 10 materials you can see everything is correct. Industry sector, material type, we have the unit of measurement. Similar way, we can check the description in the MAKT table. And I will pass the materials here also, same to same. This is the most important step to check the validation validating that data for the accuracy purpose. Execute. You can see we have the materials and the corresponding description. So this is one way of uploading that data in LSMW through batch input recording method. And we did the full flash explanation of each and every step of batch input recording method. Same way, you can go for background, you can go for display errors only, and you can go for data uploading. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.